This is code.org, and let's see what we have here. Next, you should add an H the HTML to your page. Okay, add HTML to the page that you sketched in your project. Right, so, so you should have filled out this project guide where you sketched your page. Let's keep the rubric in mind. Using computer languages, website uses both CSS and HTML. CSS for style, HTML. No syntax errors, no pink code, right? We don't want a bunch of mistakes. It needs to render right. Website uses HTML and CSS to format the page in a logical way, consistent with our plan. Code is well formatted. Nested tags, which just means tags inside of tags, is aligned vertically, right? So they're tabbed over. We'll make sure that. Uh, website does not give away any personal info uh, and thoughtful feedback for your peer review. All right. And this page is supposedly about our personal style. So I am, of course, going to do mine about, I, I don't know, I need to make something up right now. Mm, ties, that seems boring. Neck ties. All right, so we need to show off what we have learned. I'm going to do now in between the body and the body tag right now. I'm going to do, and, and make sure you're in between these, I'm going to do the H1 for my heading, because this is going to be the name of my site. And, um, ooh, I'm going to say mine's all about hats. Hats are cool. I'm deeply creative. Okay, boom, right there. And that's our H1. That's going to be the title of our page. Now, we haven't done much with images, so I'm going to leave you guys. Uh, I'll spare you of that, but I'm just going to do a quick paragraph tag. Now, notice I have an opening tag and a closing. You need this slash, otherwise it doesn't close. Now, I'm going to go to a new line. I always, guys, the second I make a tag, or I, well, I often close it right away like this. Right now I don't forget and then I'll go back here and I'll type. So now I have a paragraph and this is just going to kind of be an intro. Um, I might do a subheading. Why not? Let's do an H. I'll do an H2 for like a subtitle and I'll say my favorite or I, I don't even know. A website dedicated to really great hacks. Obviously, this is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm going to do an H4 for my subheading, maybe. And again, your site should reflect you. Yours doesn't need to be. Certainly don't make yours about hats. I don't want to grade a bunch of hat websites. That's so boring. Um, all right, H4. And now I'll do a, let's say, um, uh, H3 for my subheadings. And I'll call this uh, baseball caps. I I make this up as I go, guys. And then I'll do a paragraph here. And I'm going fast. I know I'm going to pause and explain. Baseball hats are neat. I own several of them. It looks better than my bold heed. It's not totally bold, but it's kind of. All right. Boom. So what's going on here? I'm just throwing stuff down and I might actually do enter so I could space it out. Yeah, this is like the title of my page and a little subheading under that. This is going to be the next section and notice each time H1 tag, I close it. H4 tag, you have to have a close. H3 tag, close. Now I have a paragraph and that's closed right here. So I'm kind of breaking the page up in a logical way. I'll do baseball caps. I'm not going to do a huge site as an example, but I'll do another H3. And I really don't. Cowboy hats. That's a thing. Sure. H3. Boom. Right? And now I'll do another paragraph and say, cow. Uh, I don't want to start with that again. Sometimes you can get too much sun. Period. A nice big hat with a brim all the way around is a good idea okay this is just kind of filler guys but you get the point here and notice i ended my paragraph tag i might separate this again to kind of show it's another section right if you're really fancy maybe you want to show off and do a list well let's do i'll do an unordered list a u l right so less than sign u l greater than sign i'm gonna hit enter twice now less than sign slash ul, all right? And the reason I did this, ul is an unordered list, which means a bulleted list. Now, 
what I'll do is I'll start putting stuff on my list. Like, I'm going to make stuff up now. This doesn't make sense. Shoes, socks, watches. Now, you're going to notice this list is all broken. That's not how we want it. We want an LI tag on here. And this is just some things you might use on your site. LI around each list item slash LI, right? And I need this on each line, LI slash LI for it to work. LI, shockingly, slash LI. Okay. And now my bullet list will be bulleted. So if you want a numbered list by chance, uh, OL, all I would have to change is this. I'll have a numbered list. And maybe I'll give this list a like a sub subheading. So I'll do H4 again, maybe an H4 and say other fun items. This is deeply not creative. As soon as your websites better be the better than this. <laughs> have good content. Have good content. Other fine items. Sure. And there's my HTML. So that's the basic outline. And again, notice I put all my content in the body. I start with the largest H1 tag. I decided to do a subheading thing. I break my content into a good way. When they say nested, that was on the rubric, right? So the body tag is over here. And then the H1 tag, H4 tag, right? That's pushed over a bit. That's what they mean by nested. Looks good. Onward.